YouTube. Gonna do a, another quick update on my truck here. It's been a few months since I did a nice little update on it. Let's see here. What's new now? A couple months ago, I went ahead and did like I said I was gonna do. Got some steps for it. Bought these from uh, GoRhino.com. They are some very nice steps. Um, like I said, they stay tucked close up to the uh, to the rocker panel there. So it actually hides the frame from where I had a body lift pretty well. So uh, barely notice that it even has a body lift with the gap guards on and everything. Um, let's see here. Rebuilt the front end last month. Uh, new CV axles, new wheel bearings, new ball joints, new idler arm, new pitman arm. Those parts were getting a little worn with the weight of the 35s and stuff, so went ahead and placed all that. Uh, I did, up until a few days ago, have the uh, front and back of the truck plasti dipped, like all the uh, all the chrome and the uh, the billet grill and everything had that all plasti dipped. As you can see, a couple of days ago I started peeling it off when I was washing it, but I didn't take enough time to get all of it off. I ran out of time, so I just left that there for the time being. I will get that off soon. I did leave the plastic dip down here, though, on the lower valence. That way it would still be black instead of the uh, stock gray color. And I just thought the uh, the black looked better. So I left the plastic dip there, and I also left it up here because this plastic was pretty faded, so I figured I'd leave it there, too. Um, got a nice set of shock boots for the shocks now. Um repainted the frame uh, full, like the entire frame of the truck not just where the wheels are at, where the wheels are at or anything like that I went ahead and repainted everything so uh, after I cleaned it up knocked off the surface rust etc um, there's the other step uh, the biggest things that have happened since the last update were the true dual straights that I had on here I still have the true dual pipes but I actually uh, had a section cut out and uh, put an X-pipe in. And yes, I lost a lot of the pop that my truck had and all that. But at the same time, um, I picked up probably two MPG and like right around 20 horsepower and 30 foot-pounds of torque, something along those lines. Um, so it was worth it. I mean, I do miss the sound, but it was worth it for the uh, performance gains and the uh, the economy gains. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the rear bumper is still plastic dipped. I haven't uh, peeled that yet. I'm debating on if I'm going to respray the front or if I'm going to leave it back to chrome. Uh, but the biggest thing that happened in the past couple months was I was up in uh, Middletown, Delaware. Visiting a buddy of mine, the guy who helped me, uh, or let me use the shop, and me and him put the lift kits and stuff on up there. Um, I was up there visiting him, I just hit town, and the uh, G80 locker decided to blow. The uh, stock G80 grenade decided to blow the rear axle apart. Uh, blew the whole carrier, ring and pinion were pretty beat up. So uh, I ended up rebuilding it with... Uh, a hardened steel ring and pinion from uh, American Standard, which is owned by Yukon Gear, so it's pretty good quality stuff. Um, did a full uh, Timken bearing set with Timken seals. Um, a Detroit True Track locker to replace the stock G80, and a Mag High Tech diff cover. Basically, I don't think this truck's ever going to make enough power to blow that differential apart, or at least I hope not. Um, actually, I am uh, going to be selling this soon. Uh, put it up on Craigslist today, as a matter of fact. I'm trying to sell her because, uh, for one thing, I'm moving, and uh, I'm going to be far away from work at that point, so I need an economy car. But uh, more so, I'm going to put the rest for a down payment on a uh, three-quarter ton Duramax. I'm uh, about worn out with the whole gas thing. I've done enough to this. It's time to start fresh. So I'd like to get myself a nice three-quarter ton Duramax and uh, 
start from there and basically do it up like I did this one. Um, geez, this thing only has, she's a 2000 and she only has like 89,000 miles now, so she's still got plenty of life in her. Oh, I also, uh, I also did the, uh, the Corvette shift solenoid inside the transmission in the past couple months. Um, lot firmer shifts really saves that second gear and third gear band in the uh, transmission from wearing down um, also and like tow haul or something like that if you're actually towing something it shifts so hard and so quick now that uh, you barely feel it like like the truck doesn't even nudge it just takes a load there's no lag between gears so that way you can keep the uh, the trailer steady behind you you don't have any you know especially if you're going uphill or something like that you know it's it, it really saves wear and tear on the transmission so um that's basically it yeah the uh the frame the steps the shot boots the rear axle the shift solenoid the plastic dip that is about everything i believe all right i'll see you guys